This is being seen as a major tipping point. Either Credit Suisse regains its footing or analysts say another global crisis could follow. Here's what happened. The bank said in its annual report that it had material weaknesses in its financial reporting. That's a bad look. The biggest shareholder, Saudi National Bank, then ruled out increasing its stake, causing other investors to panic. In one night, Credit Suisse shares crashed by as much as 30% before being halted. It means the bank that was worth almost $50 billion two years ago is now worth $10 billion and is having to ask for help from the Swiss National Bank, which is now coughing up $80 billion. Credit Suisse has a lot of links to um, the financial sectors of other countries and it will have a lot of creditors and subsidiaries elsewhere who potentially could get into difficulties. The problem is, the more concern there is around banks, the more funds are pulled out of them, making them weaker. And as interest rates continue to rise, a lot of the bonds they bought become less valuable. It's putting central banks in a tough spot. Certainly people are forecasting that the Fed will raise rates by 25 basis points. Some are saying there'll be uh, no increase. Others are saying that the Fed will cut interest rates. So in a sense, nobody really knows. It's not the same recipe that caused the GFC, but it has experts sufficiently worried.